Okay, so imagine we have an amazing site, which we don't, we practically got jack shit on here. But anyway, we have, uh, just imagine you have a beautiful site, okay? And we've given it to our client and they are super, super happy with it. But you and I know that deep inside their soul, they wanna change stuff. Now we can say, yes, sure, go and change whatever you want. But then we're gonna feel really heartbroken when we add our client site to our portfolio and potential clients go and look at it and it looks shit. Like we don't want that, do we? No, we wanna make sure that the work that we do, we leave it in good condition and that they look after it in good condition. So this tutorial is gonna show you how you can restrict content. Now use this at your own will, yeah? Um, but explain to the client that this is probably, this is what you're gonna do. So they will have access to text, they'll be able to edit the text, but they will not be able to move things around, they will not be able to add modules, they will not be able to do any of that stuff because as far as you're concerned, the website is done, it's finished, and so be it. <laughs> that sounds a bit crazy, but anyway. So right now, I'm the client, I've gone in, I've now decided that, you know, oh, this looks rubbish, I don't want that on there, I'm gonna delete that. Um, I'm just gonna have this massive picture because I like wasting space on my website anyway. Um, yeah, this is all right, but I think this will look better if it was over here. And mm, this will look so much better if it was just a bright, bright yellow. Oh no, actually, I think purple. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. The contrast is exactly what I want. God, that breaks my heart. So anyway, the, the client's now gone in and this is what they've done and they've published it. And now our lives are ruined because they've just slightly messed up our design. So what you can do as a designer, once you've finished everything, you can go into settings and page builder and go into user access and make sure that you deselect everything, okay? And then save the user access. Now what this means is that when they go back into the page, we'll go into page builder. Was this the one I used? Nope, it's this one. they cannot move stuff around. Can you see the icons have changed? We only have this setting icon. So I can edit the text, but I can't mess around with the coloring. I can't move stuff around. Like this is how it has to be. Now this is cool. In my opinion, this is just perfect because they still get to edit stuff. They still get to um, you know, add pictures into the gallery. They still get to edit the, the text if they need to, but the likelihood of them fucking it up is very minimal now, okay? And what this means is that when you as a designer decide to, they contact you again because they want this page added or they want some more customizations to be done, you can just go in, go into the page builder, go into user access and just give yourself access again. And that is it for this part of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.